guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with another M140i, a pretty ridiculous looking car. Now this car belongs to a good mate of mine, Alex, and has actually featured on the channel before. It was looking a lot different back then, um, hence why it's back on the channel for kind of an updated video really, but this thing sounds absolutely ridiculous now. It's got a whole new exhaust system, which I'll, I'll get Alex to run through, because it's all very confusing to me, because he's had so much done. So what we're gonna do is we'll introduce Alex, for those of you who uh, didn't see the last video a couple, actually it's probably nearly a year ago now where that video went live, but we'll catch up with him, we'll get him to run around it, and then we'll go out and make a hell of a lot of noise, because I can definitely say that this thing might just be, well, maybe the loudest m 40 i I've ever heard. <laughs> I won't stop, no, 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 I won't stop, I won't stop, I won't stop, no, 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 I won't stop, I won't stop. Alex, my friend, welcome back to the channel. It's been probably about a year since we did the last video, right? Yeah, about a year. Probably about that. Now, the reason why we're doing another video is just because of the amount of differences which have happened to the car really since then. Well, first thing is it's definitely a different color. <laughs> yeah, definitely that. So, if, well, the original color is black and it well, yep. obviously still is underneath. Mm -hmm. What is the name of this wrap? Uh, it's a satin energetic yellow. Uh, it's an Avery Denison color. Um, I only had the exterior done. I didn't get mm -hmm. door shuts as well because it's obviously a black car underneath. Yeah. Um, so obviously it doesn't look bad underneath. Mm. I mean, it's really hard to photograph, actually. You probably found that, because it's there's so much depth in it. I mean, in the shadows there, it's like a really dark, almost orange. It is orange. difficult, because it's, because it's obviously, it, they don't call it a flip color, mm. but in some lights it's gold, in some lights it's orange, and in yeah. some lights it's just like bright yellow. No, it's uh, mental. When the, when the sun's directly on it as well, yeah. it is literally just like bright orange, <laughs> yeah. um, which another mate of mine also got the wrap done, and that's the one thing he said, that we, he wasn't quite sure about how it sort mm. of looked okay. um, yeah. in the sun, but obviously, as it is now, I love the colour as yeah. it is now. No, it's so different, very, very different. Now, the other pretty obvious thing which has changed is the airlift or the air ride. Yeah, so I'm running a full 3P system. Yeah. Uh, it's Dush Tech that did it. Mm -hmm. They've done a really good job on it. I was very sceptical about it, obviously, because I don't just want to have it just sat there. I like to drive it as well. Yeah. Um, but there is so much adjustment on here itself that you can sort of change a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, obviously, you can change the camera on the front and the rear. You can change the hardness. Um, yeah. Decent. And you can control that all on your phone, I think. Yes, I will show you. So, yeah, so this is the app that you basically have on your phone. Um, so, basically, this goes up and mm. this is... That's the ride height, yep. which is obviously still quite low. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but because of the adjustment and stuff they've done on here, they set this up so it, it could still be driven. Mm -hmm. So it could also go lower as well. Um, but because of the tires and the wheels that I've still got on there, that yep. I'm literally at the limit of what I can go on there. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's basically just a party piece, isn't it? It's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not anything that anyone needs. And obviously once you're done- Oh, that made me jump then. <laughs> But yeah, you can go back down. It's, yeah. it's basically just a party piece. Yeah. It's, um, it's mainly for like shows and stuff next year. Uh, it. it was meant to be this year, but obviously yeah. nothing because of the whole COVID situation. Mm -hmm. um, now you're running the same wheels as before, but they're just gloss black now, aren't they? Yeah, so um, I got a company just to basically powder coat these in a gloss black. Um, mm. they, they were silver when I originally got the car wrapped. Yep. Um, but because I've obviously got everything basically black and carbon, there's mm. nothing else silver on there. So yeah. it just made sense for me to go black. And what wheels are they? Sorry, just for a moment. Uh, Aspiri FFR 6s. They are seriously, seriously nice. I, th I have actually bugged you quite a lot, actually, about when you want to sell those, to I know. be fair. Well, when, when they get sold, then um, you're definitely first in line. It will be sort of early next year they'll be yeah. going. So, um, so you're thinking about doing a whole complete transformation, like wheels, wraps. It's, it's going to have sort of forged three split nice. sort of alloys on here. Yeah. It, it, will, it will look nice when it's all done. It's just, obviously, as you know, it's down to money. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um, it's sort of, you know what it's like, it's a money pit. Yeah, that's it. I mean, one thing leads to another and then another and then another. That's it. Um, which is which is kind of, well, it's all part of the game, isn't it? It's all part of the fun. <laughs> exactly, it's all part yeah. of the fun. Um, I think the only other thing which I think you said to me just off camera, which you've changed, is the exhaust, I think? Yes, yeah, so before I had the standard back box of the M Performance uh, tips, the yep. look like tips. Yeah. Um, I've just gone for the full MPE now. I did have a Remus also on here about a month and a half ago. Um, mm -hmm. I've since changed from that. If I'm honest, this one's quieter. Yeah. But it's got more of a deep, 
tone to the pops, whereas mm. the Remus was just ridiculously loud. Yeah. And it was just so obnoxious and ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's one thing which I distinctly remember from our original video, just how loud this thing was. It's I ridiculous. mean, the overrun <laughs> is ridiculous. Now, you're running a stage two, obviously. Yeah, still so, DMS. Yeah, um, DMS still tubes, on there. What, 460 brake. Yeah. Um, bits and bobs like that with a well like I said a pretty ridiculous overrun which <laughs> we will exactly feature it. a lot I think that's going to be the, the party piece of the video really just the sound of this thing um, um, but uh, yeah but yeah there's, there's a couple of other little changes obviously like around the front I've got um, auto ID canards the <laughs> carbon canards yeah um, they orig originally wrapped black uh, I did it myself I yeah. did an absolute shocking job <laughs> Uh, I took a C2F4 and they yeah. said, who the hell wrapped that? <laughs> I was really? like, I'm not going to put my hands on you. Yeah. <laughs> just um, standing in the corner like, hmm, <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> uh, it's just little bits really, obviously diffusers yeah. and stuff. It's all through um, one of my new sponsors, Zero. Mm -hmm. um, so the full kit. Yeah, it's a full kit, uh, full diffuser. The diffuser is sort of like the Ryger on your car. Yeah. Um, it's just sort of got a few more angles and stuff to it. Yeah. Um, it's a bit nicer for yeah. obviously what I wanted to make mm -hmm. the car look like. Obviously, because I knew I was going to put it on air ride as well, it just needed a proper low kit, yeah, so low it kit. was sat further to the floor. Yeah. Uh, obviously, side skirts, uh, brakes and stuff I've painted. Mm -hmm. Um, originally blue, but obviously the blue wouldn't work with the wrap. Yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd go for a nice neutral colour. Um, it's meant to be black. It came out grey. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too like. I'm not too bothered about it though, because yeah. it still looks quite good. Um, but yeah, it's mainly just skirts and carbon and. Yeah. Pretty much That's it. it. So you try to remember everything you've done to it because I mean, like you said, the thing is drastically different to, to what it was like about a year ago. I mean, the, the actual install in the boot and stuff, I can show you that. Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, know whether my boot is dirty or not, so uh, <laughs> just allow it if it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've oh, yeah. got basically the main tank here, obviously mm -hmm. got the compressor behind there, and then the management system is underneath the carpet yeah. as well. So they've tried keeping everything mm. sort of as hidden away as possible. So you've still got a boot, which is good. <laughs> yeah, I've still got plenty of room. I haven't really changed uh, much more than that i don't i say much more than that i've changed a lot but yeah <laughs> yeah as we've seen but yeah, uh, but yeah awesome. so uh, that's it brilliant really well <laughs> awesome well i think what we'll do we'll hop on board seeing as the car is nice yeah, and warm course. now of course make a lot of noise that's <laughs> definitely going to happen and uh, well see what the things like out on the road and actually see what the air ride is like well witnessing it and feeling it on board actually because I've, I've experienced a couple obviously not a 140. I think you'll be impressed with it. It's, yeah. uh, it's well set up. Obviously, as I say, they've set it up very well. I, mm. I can't obviously say that to everyone that you're going to have air rod in your car. It's going to perform yeah. like mine does, but it, I can't. I honestly can't floor it. Mm. Brilliant. Awesome. Right, let's hop on board and uh, stuff. go for a cruise. Back in the beast. Back now, in obviously, it. I'm no stranger to an M140i. But this thing, Jesus, it's, it's different gravy. <laughs> it's different gravy. And obviously, it looks so different now. Actually, sounds a lot different as well. Yeah, like, the MPE, when it eventually stops, yeah. <laughs> the MPE is uh, a bit of a machine in itself, to be mm. fair. Um, obviously, as I said, I had the Remus as well. Mm. Yep. The Remus is such a good exhaust and I, I take my hats off to them because they make really good exhausts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the it was just too loud for me. Yeah. yeah. Obviously I, I still drive this on like the motorway and stuff and it, it's just too loud. <laughs> and obviously the MPE, for you. MPE is in valved. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't need the valve. Yeah. Um, because when you obviously when you turn it to eco, 
like it is now, put it back in manual mode. Yeah, it's, it's like nothing. I can there. drive that around. Yeah, and it's like a, I'm driving around an electric car. That's it. <laughs> well, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the the MPE, it just sounds so more, so much more like refined. Like it doesn't sound tinny at all, no, and that's they, the risk when modifying like exhaust. Exactly. There's, that's the main reason why I've stuck with this one is yeah. because there is absolutely no tin anymore. Um, obviously, I've tried the Remus as well. The Remus is deep, yeah. but you've still got that aspect of tin in it. Mm. Um, and obviously, the standard one, you have always going to have a bit of tin in that anyway because that's yeah. what they make it as. Yeah, as soon as you straight pipe a car, that's always the risk. But <laughs> no, mate, it sounds unreal. And obviously, you're DMS tuned as well, yeah. but you've gone for literally override mode to the max. So he gave me two options. He gave me um, extreme override yeah. and override. Okay. Um, so he sent the uh, files and stuff over and uh, was like, what do you want? And I was like, well, obviously, he's just got to try the extreme. Yeah. And he's, obviously, it's loud, and I think at the moment it's a bit too loud for me, so I'm probably going to have um, one of the original silencers put back in. Okay. Oh, my God. That sounded oh, horrendous. Yeah, that sounded awful. <laughs> Is that turbo um, wine or I don't have <laughs> can a clue imagine what that was. like this big? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, where were you? <laughs> um, uh, well, where was I? Override. Um, override, yes. So he he did give me the option. Obviously, I went extreme. Obviously, yeah. I like having the extreme override there, but yeah. it's too loud again. I'm gonna have to have um, one of resonators put back in because yeah. the MPE, as you say, is different gravy. Yeah. Um, it just makes the car just a complete different yeah. sound and. It's okay, but if you want to go for a bit of a spirit drive down some back roads, mm. you sort of can't because you feel so bad that everyone else is sort of hearing this hearing constantly. You, yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously, I like to go for a bit of a spirit drive every now and again, like everyone does. Yeah. Uh, good to clear your head. As you do. Um, but it's it just needs to sort of quiet down a little bit. Yeah. But I suppose it is. I mean, it's Valtronic in the sense that. It's not in every mode where yeah. it's like this loud. Like you say, eco is completely shut off, which as you do, you wouldn't have pops and bangs in eco. That's the main thing. Uh, I wouldn't have the pops and bangs there. If you couldn't turn yeah. it off on that eco pro, uh, I, I wouldn't have them. Yeah. yeah oh, that's it. fuel reserve. <laughs> Love that. So like I was saying in the intro, like it, it's probably been about a year since we did the initial video. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that this could have got more different than what it was. That's before. exactly it. So before, I, even in the other video, I, mm. I said I liked it because it was subtle. It is completely the opposite now. Yeah, it's, okay. it's really face obviously yeah. the flames are ridiculous mm. um obviously the color's ridiculous mm. it, everyone looks because it's just so different isn't it and it is like marmite you you're yeah. uh, there's going to be loads of you in well, watching this video now which aren't going to like it mm. but that's okay because it's not to everyone's taste yeah like the whole car's not to anyone's taste everyone's taste sorry um mm. obviously you get a lot of mixed opinions some people absolutely love it and they're just like oh can i take a photo yeah some people look at it and they're like oh disgusting which, yeah. which, which i'm fine with yeah there's always going to be someone because at the end of someone. the day you're building a car for yourself you're not building a car for someone else to go oh that's nice because yeah. that's it if you don't look at it on your driveway and you think oh that that looks nice mm. It's not, you shouldn't have that car. Yeah, exactly. No, that's big respect for saying that. That's, uh, I think there's something which everyone's thinking but never really says. But no, man, fair play, fair play. And <laughs> I mean, you've done some changes with the interior as well because, well, your old seats are now in my car. They are. I bought the seats off yourself. I, that was probably quite a while ago now, a few months ago. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, um, and obviously all the, the little carbon bits here and there as well. Obviously with the seats and stuff, I was debating keeping the seats for a while, but obviously I, d I didn't even put them up properly. I just sort of put it up that they might be yeah. for sale and you just slid straight in and I was like, well, I don't really want them. Yeah. Because of the look that I was going, the, the whole racy sort of thing wouldn't have worked yeah. with this look. Not a lot of change inside, to be honest. I, I don't think it needs changing yeah. like loads and loads in here. Mm. I'd love to go full carbon everything, yeah. but it's just money and it's money that could be spent elsewhere. I suppose, yeah, that's it. I mean, if you've got mental tints on it that no one's going to see in here exactly. anyway. <laughs> Right, well, legal tints. Yeah, legal tints. <laughs> what tints? Disclaimer. Yeah. Anyway, seeing as, well, the sound of this thing uh, has, well, basically just taken up the whole length of the video, <laughs> I think I am going to leave it here. I mean, that's for me, that's the part of piece. It sounds exactly absolutely that, yeah. nuts. I mean, the flames match the colour of the car, and that's when you know your goals. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, Alex, once again, thank you very much for coming on the channel. No, I will good to leave, be back. Uh, yeah, definitely. Good to catch up as well. As always, I will leave Alex's Instagram link down in the description down below for you guys to go and check out. I mean, there's always something that you're going to do to this car. I mean, it's 
It's next. changing every time you uploaded a I, photo. I've got different things I'm going to do. Obviously, Bonnet is probably next to me. Okay. I've been in talks with R34 yep. uh, Performance, who you obviously you're aware yeah, with, yeah, and a lot of your followers will yeah, be yeah. as well. Um, I do want to go the GTS Bonnet. Probably not going to go carbon because it's just going to get wrapped back over again. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But yeah, wheels and bonnet, and it'll be a different colour next and year at some point. <laughs> the, like, the list goes on, man. This goes on. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Don't come.